I think honestly, like the biggest thing is just to stay true to yourself, I guess, and just kind of like talk to the publicists as if they're not, you know, like a hoity-toity, like official person. Like that's something I really like working at my firm is that you kind of like have these like relationships with our artists where I feel like literally every artist on my roster is my actual friend. And like every single artist that I work with usually tells me at the end of the campaign, they're like, oh my God, it's so fun to work with you because this feels like an actual relationship and not just like a transaction. And that's something that I really value that like all of artists are kind of responsive towards how I approach things. And it just makes the experience a lot better if you're actually like, you know, developing a not just official professional relationship with someone, but as opposed to that, like building an actual human relationship. And so with that, I think a lot of it is just like, be kind. <laughs> treat your public as well don't be don't be a jerk and just like be understanding and just just be open to things and just be open to kind of just like yeah just be like responsive and yeah a good i feel like it's being like a good person takes you really far <laughs> that's probably like i think the most important thing is just like yeah just be nice be kind and just be understanding of everything and just treat us like actual humans and we'll do the same for you because that's like the thing I think in this industry is that like a lot of it seems like a lot of it is kind of like a cesspool you know like it's 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 so easy to be kind and some people choose not to and I think it just comes to the territory of like working in the arts and entertainment and stuff like that but those who actually take care in their relationships and actually care about other people in a very genuine manner it's it's so apparent and everyone will go above and beyond for you if you do that. Like I have artists that like I've worked with in the past who like don't have a budget to like work together on like a release right now. And because I'm like, okay, I love you. You're a great person. Like I'll do it for free. Like I'll do things like that. Like I'll give you like little like tips and hints and I'll, you know, work things as a favor as opposed to like people who like literally treat you like trash. I'm like, I am not gonna do anything for you. <laughs> Just be nice. And then everyone else, like the nice people will see that and they'll kind of gravitate towards you. And then eventually you'll have like a really good community surrounding yourself, which is the one of the most important things to, to making it, I guess, and to having like a career. So yeah just treat people well. <laughs> we like to work really collaboratively with our artists. Um, so instead of having like a traditional label artist relationship, um, we kind of like to work more like partners. Um, and we've been fortunate that all of our artists are super easy going and flexible. They're really open to our ideas. Um, so I think when, when people reach out to us, it's often, um, I think we get a good sense of how easy going they're gonna be and how, they're gonna be to work with. I think having a genuine pitch instead of being like overly push, pushy um, is really important um, in building that relationship with us, at least. I think also just kind of having good music is the first step because uh, if the music isn't there, then it's really tough to make a relationship with someone at a label. Label people are busy and um, so music is the first thing. Right. And then if they're easygoing, they're not too pushy with their pitching, um, then that's like the next best step. Right. Yeah. Because for us, it's like, you know, like I mentioned, it's a very collaborative approach. And so their work style like matters a lot to us, I think. Um, and, you know, we tend to be pretty like we're working together with them and like constantly in communication with them. And it's um, it's really relaxed of a work style that we have, but it's also important that we enjoy working with them. It has to be organic um, in, in the sense of making genuine human connections, not feeling like, hey, quid pro quo, or hey, I really want to get this spotlight. Like, I have been fortunate enough to develop relationships with artists over the course of my career or yes, obviously I've, I've interviewed them at certain times, I've written about their music, um, they've interacted with me uh, in a very professional manner, but also, you know, in the age of social media, in the age of kind of hyper-connectivity, you're going to make human relationships as well. And I value those human relationships and I, I try not to take advantage of them. And I, I always appreciate artists who do the same toward me. I think in terms of developing a genuine relationship with publications, obviously 
it's 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 been harder to do during the pandemic but human interaction i always have appreciated when an artist will come into the billboard office just to play some music just to kind of chat whether that artist is completely new whether that artist has been around for 30 years it's always interesting to me to have that type of relationship developed in person obviously that's been difficult to do since march 2020 but also you know i i've had stories develop where someone will pitch me at either a publicist or a label or a manager will pitch me on an artist interview or an, an artist has a new album coming out and i've been skeptical about it but i either listen to the music or more importantly just chat with them casually and and kind of see the story take shape in my mind a little bit i remember uh, to give a, an example bb rexa was someone who had an album coming out a couple months ago and her publicist is someone i've known for a very long time and was like just get on a zoom call with her just have her play a couple songs um and just have her talk to you about them and i was like okay and and you know what it was a great half hour of listening to those songs and having her talk it through and i was like you know what there is a story here it's it's a it's an interesting one and something came came together so i think human connectivity and developing genuine relationships that don't necessarily hinge upon promises of coverage i think is makes all the difference and and that also can be in small ways in the sense of you know making a joke with me on twitter or or like sending me a song that i might like whether it's theirs or someone else's like i try to be obviously in my in my role i'm always thinking about opportunities for us at billboard to tell those stories and cover artists that that deserve and and we should be covering but at the same time you know i think that i'm always i'm always open to just like interacting with with every everyone is an actual person and i know that kind of social media has leveled the playing field a little bit where people can interact with each other a little bit more freely but just remembering that is that everybody everybody's just like a, a normal person and they just want to have like a normal conversation and and I'm 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 rambling a little bit but I I that's always worked with me in terms of interviewing artists too which is you know I've I've been fortunate enough to to speak to some very famous people but and and my rule especially recently as I've developed my interviewing skills has always been like just treat them like a like a person like just they don't want to be addressed with this mystique around them at least the large majority you know they want to have a conversation they want to explain their art they want to get something off their chest and and you know have a platform to explain so i think that that kind of to go into like artist building relationships with a publication i think it's it's kind of a two way street where it's like treat us like humans um obviously like pitch us and stuff like there there is that kind of level to it but but at the but but at the same time i i would definitely recommend just making sure that it, that connection is genuine